Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 476. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And well, we got some news for you this week. And oh boy, there is a lot to talk about. So let's hop into some, well, light and easy news. First up is Lawson in China sprouting a sporting a pony reskin. Hmm. The convenience store Lawson has apparently adopted a pony skin for their Shanghai store, complete with a sorry, complete with all of the main cast and a big celestial statue in the middle surrounded by toys. They even emblazoned the logo on their ceiling and decked the place out in pony themed food products. Uh, it opens on the 17th, so a few days ago. If you happen to be there, uh, to be in the area, Pony has been absolutely exploding in China over the past few years, with their fandom starting to eclipse even our Western ones. You've probably seen that with all the video we've posted from their country lately. Uh, administ uh, administrators, artists, writers, animators, sorry, animators, artists, writers, and more are all getting on their pony train, specifically G4, but I would be surprised if that hops to G5 in drove once things get going. <clears throat> so, wow, this is really cool, wow. I'm not going to read the bad Google to Translate, but I'm just going to take a look, see at the um, pictures and comment on them. These are toys, books, okay. Yep, like the, like Seth mentioned, <laughs> big giant Celestia with a pony products all around. Okay, cool, cool. And they even swag up some food packaging. Cool, cool. So, um, you're probably wondering, what is Lawson, and is it any good? <laughs> um, to be honest, I got no idea. But uh, as a example of what I've heard, uh, do you know? I, I'm guessing you guys know what the convenience store Seven Eleven is. It's all over the world. It's a big franchise, and everybody knows it. Yes. So, Lawson is that, but a competitor. Uh, it's mostly popular in Japan, I think? Or is it a China brand? I, I don't remember because from what I've heard from friends who went to Japan, uh, there's a few competitors, oh no, oh, sorry. There's a few uh, convenience stores there. 7-Eleven uh, is there. There's Lawson, and there's also Family Mart. Uh, and also there's... Uh, Nick, uh, what was the store called again? Uh, the oof. It was in Yakuza. I forgot the, I forgot the store name. Don Quixote. <clears throat> Something like that. Uh, so anyway, um, so Lawson is another competitor, and the way that I understand and experience with my own because over here in Malaysia we have a family mart. But anywho, um, the way that the Japanese kind of do their uh, convenience store is by having the essentials like snacks, bread, quick food and all that stuff like whatever you can find in a convenience store. But what makes them up above the rest is that they serve or they have um, quick uh, quick snacks like sandwiches that they can make and uh, some oden, uh, that's what they called it. Uh, this is this is going to go into deep, but uh, oden is a soup broth mixed with um, meat on a stick. That's the best I can explain it to you. And there's also sausages and so on, hot dogs and, you know, there is a lot, there is a lot. So. Um, Family Mart is 
kind of okay. It's above, uh, sorry, it goes above and beyond what normal convenience store here goes. But from what I understand, in the States, there are also other really good convenience stores. I did research on it and I forgot their names. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but I do also remember that some convenience stores are local to some regions. So even if I say some, I got no idea. Mm. But yeah, um, for this Lawson in China, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool in terms of pony news. Um, I'm not 100% sure if G4 was the right choice in terms of marketing, but G4 is well known. You know, in my honest opinion, I feel like G5 would have been a better strategy just to promote the movie and whatnot. But I do understand going with the classic because it's well known. Uh, it's yeah, it's well known, and people know. Uh, people, and it's sorry, um, it's well known and it's a strong brand. <laughs> but with the release of G Five, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. So let's move on to the next news. Next news is National Gallery in the UK has an exhibit that ponifies famous horse paintings into G5. <clears throat> okay, we often heard that pony is uh, super... Oh wow, Seth, why did you write this word? Uh, superior... Superior... Okay, now th now this is just messing me. I, I, I'm sure this is one of those words that Seth mis... Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm, proofread Seth. Oh God. Superior in every way to horses here in our bubble of adorable anime eye mares. But they are taking it in, taking it to the next level over at the National Gallery in the UK with an exhibit that allows you to scan QR codes on classic horses. Uh, sorry, horse paintings and turn them into G5 pony versions on, on whatever device you scan them with. There are 10 in total from artist Rachel Sanders, who considered it one of her most exciting moments in her career, according to an interview over on the Belfast Telegraph. <clears throat> so, I've seen the video and this is cool. <clears throat> uh, I'm not 100% sure if there's any QR of it or whatever it is, but uh, I feel like what they did was they augmented uh, augment reality the picture. Um, I'm not 100% sure how the technology works, but from what I saw is that they, take the, they took their phone, uh, pointed at a picture and the picture of Sunny comes out and it's pretty cool like they were like like Seth said there's 10 pictures they changed the um, stuff and whatnot and it's awesome it's, it's pretty awesome and it's kind of a uh, treasure hunt or uh, looking for a needle and haystack kind of deal but the needle is kind of huge because it's a horse. So it's really cool. And Rachel saying that this is her proudest achievement. I can say because um, I, I did look at a bit of Rachel's back history in terms of what she did. And she is a um, children's book artist, writer and so on. So having one of her works in a museum especially one that is considered to be a fancy pantsy museum is really awesome and yeah good on her and if i'm not mistaken there is art of all 10 i'll cover you later so yeah i'm just going to run through and um they're really promoting or hasbro is really promoting g5 in terms of awareness because yeah we we the fans know it's coming out but the general public audience don't really know and if they are informed of it that's better so uh, there's this there's that 
Uh, Rachel said this was her favorite because she put in a lot of work into it. And the picture were the pictures are really awesome. And I tell you this at home, there's no spoilers. Like all these pictures are independent of their like they're just independent. There's no uh relation to the movie at all. So yeah, this this is just awesome. This is just awesome. So let's move on to the next news and the Girl Scout have joined the Pony Hype Train with a patch and coloring sheet printouts. Yes. I got no idea about this association. I heard a lot of it from TV. They sell cookies. Yes. So anyway, apparently the world of Pony is reaching as far as it possibly can this time around. G4 in comparison got almost none of this level of marketing. Hopefully that makes some pretty big waves and keep this train going. Choo choo. Joining the tsunami of brands, organization and other things celebrating new cartoon equines in the girl is sorry, it's the girl scouts with a new patch release over on their website. The first ten thousand are free with the code My Little Pony all caps at checkout. And it goes up to a dollar fifty after that. If you have a daughter in the Girl Scout, you better go on quick. Yes, they are. They <laughs> they also have their own promo video and a bunch of downloadable coloring page with various Girl Scout signs along with it. So honestly, I got no idea what this association is and whatnot. So. I'm just going to make it brief. This is cool. Marketing. Yay. Not much to say. Moving on to the next one. So, the My Little Pony A New Generation soundtrack is on Spotify slash YouTube Music because some people use YouTube Music. So anyway, with the movie releasing tomorrow, uh, it looks like the official My Little Pony channel on Spotify has the album up just in time for the event. If you like to have a listen or maybe bookmark the page for after you've seen the movie, you can find the links to the page below. Yep, yep. Um, and like I mentioned before, it's also on YouTube Music if you are a user of the YouTube Music platform. So, yeah, I, you know what? There's nothing much for me to say. Then enjoy the music and uh, go check it out. If I'm mistaken, there's 12 tracks in total. So let's move on to the next topic. Next topic is what have I been doing my week? <clears throat> I'm going to be quick and brief because um, it's kind of the same old same old. Play Diablo 3, um, play some D&D, and watch the My Little Pony movie. Yay! So, I'm going to give you guys a quick recap because, not really recap, a quick review of the movie. Just, just a quick one, just a quick one. Nothing to go overboard. Movie is available on Netflix, yes. If you are one of the lucky few that are <laughs> one of the lucky few that the movie shows in theaters, so that's good too. But um, for the rest of the world, we have Netflix. Sorry. Anyway, um, Netflix. I watched the movie. Uh, it's an hour and a half long. Not bad. Pretty okay for a animated movie. Pretty standard by this point. I watch it. I like it. Music is good. Music's very interesting. I wonder who made it, because we all know it's not Daniel Ingram anymore. And that part is sad. But still, we got new composers and whatnot, so that's good. Uh, all the characters are believable and likable. There's no one that you feel like doesn't fit in and you kind of want to hate and whatnot. Like, doesn't really... <laughs> like, you don't really like and whatnot. So. Overall, um, the 
all of the characters here are very lovable and likable. Uh, especially Hitch. Like, you would think that Hitch is the odd man out. Yes, he is, but he is very adorable. So anyway, um, other than that, I say it is a very good movie. Um, I would put it at around a score rating of 8 out of 10. Why is it not 9 or 10? Because, I don't know, I mean, for me, to have that perfect movie, like 5 star, 10 out of 10 kind of thing, it really has to be a life changer. And honestly, personally, personally for me, I would say that that feeling, that moment for me was the... What was the... Uh, Night, um, there, there's two for me that hit that in terms of pony episodes, uh, Lesson Zero and also Nightmare Nights. I think Lesson Zero could be, I, I, I don't remember, but it could be one of those few that really pushed me to the edge of change and G4 was kind of it and hence why I'm here. Uh, for G5, I have a lot of concerns which I won't address them here because if you watch previous episodes, I've talked about it. And another thing is that, like I mentioned before, I watched the movie and I recorded a reaction video to it. If you are interested in watching it fast, it's up on the Patreons as this episode comes out. Yes. So yes, it's up on Patreon. So if you would like to see it quote unquote unedited, it's there. Um, if you don't mind waiting for a week or two, it will be up on the YouTubes. But by then, it'll be old news and whatnot. <laughs> so anyway, let's wrap things up. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themgsfromgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe to Rails on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. Uh, links will be in the show notes below. Uh, also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me and Totera. I know Totera's not around for a bit. Um, the big guy is getting hitched soon. <laughs> so, anyway, um... We talk about pony episodes, comics, movies, specials, and also we like to talk other things other than ponies. Um, those could be cartoons, animes, car manga, comic books, movies, and video games. Yes. If you like support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. Where if you have support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya! <laughs>